Happy Wednesday, guys. Um, I'm gonna show you real quick how you can start doing a headstand or even crow pose. So you're gonna put your hands down on the ground about maybe right outside your knees. And then you're gonna put your head down and it's gonna be directly in front of your hands. So you're gonna put it there and you're gonna wanna find the center of balance and you're gonna stick your feet up and if you want to lean your knees on your elbows and lift your head up that's gonna be a crow pose now if you want to take it one step further and lift your legs in the air you can totally do that and sometimes it's easier for me to just do the headstand instead of the crow pose um, the crow pose definitely requires back arm strength and both poses are going to require core strength so if you want to rebuild your core strength up um the, a good way to rebuild your core strength up is going to be doing side planks or planks just flat out or doing like those side crunches but i'm going to show you real quick um i'm going to transition into the headstand from what i was saying so you're going to put your hands right outside they're about knee distance apart and it's going to be different depending on each person's center of gravity. You're going to put your head down and you're going to lift your legs up. Um, sometimes you don't get it on the first try. Sometimes it's good to do it against a wall. Um, and sometimes you're just not feeling it. So it really depends on how you're feeling that particular day. Woo! Definitely feeling it today. And there are so many benefits, I can tell you, to doing headstands. You're going to get that blood flow moving. You're going to bring it back down to your head. Um, sometimes it helps release the neck and upper back pain for me. And it actually helps release the tension in my hips. If you've been sitting at a desk for a really long time, it's going to help release some of the tension there, especially if you stand on your head or do the headstand for a little bit. Um, you can keep trying again and again. Also, do not give up because honestly, it took me maybe over a year or two of doing yoga to really trust myself to do the headstand. Because honestly, when I first started doing yoga, I really didn't think it was something that I could do. And now I'm actually really uh, proud of myself that I can do it can do it consistently and it helps with a lot of issues.